Hello everybody, gonna be a quick Arcane Odyssey video here. I got this rare spell scroll, which lets you learn a new rare type of spell for your magic. I'll show you quickly how you can actually get it yourself. As you can see, the description reads, a scroll containing instructions on how to use the rare spell called Pulsar. Pulsar fires a pulsating blast of magic, dealing damage as it moves through the air. The cool thing about this is you can use it on any magic type. I use snow magic, so when I use it, it lets me create a pulsar spell, so long as I have over 160 magic level. So to use this, you do obviously have to be quite heavily invested into the magic tree. Here's the editing options for the spell, as you can see it shows up as a rare spell. You can change the pulse rate, which is basically how often the spell hits. And you can change the size, which affects the hitbox, the range, and the damage. So this is what the spell looks like. You basically throw this ball, which does damage over time to enemies standing in the area. It's pretty good in the right situations as an AoE spell. So the way that you get this spell is actually pretty simple. You have to go out to sea with a ship loaded with cannons, and then find a pirate ship, and then make sure that you sink it while on your ship. Don't go onto the ship and board it, you have to sink it first. Use your cannons, and if you have one, use your battering ram to destroy their ship, and then you'll be able to board it after that. I'll be doing a full guide on ship combat later, so if you guys want to see that, then make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But the most important thing in ship combat, in my mind, is to make sure that you're approaching your angles properly. You want to line up your ship in such a way that you can aim your cannons at them, but they can't aim your cannons at you. You can do this by trying to travel perpendicular to the motion of the enemy's ship, but if you're slower than the enemy's ship, then this won't work. You'll just have to go to the side of it, and then try and shoot it from range. At long distance, the enemy's cannonballs become inaccurate, but you can still aim yours to hit them, so use this to your advantage. So once you've sunk the ship, you want to kill the enemies on the ship. The ship captain and quartermaster are normally really strong, so I'd advise you to get an upper hand by shooting them from range and doing a lot of damage to them. Just make sure you don't die, because that's the most important thing. If you die during ship combat, then you basically gain nothing. Kill all the enemies, take your time, do it one by one if you have to, and then once that's done, you can board the enemy ship, or if you've already done that, you'll see that there are treasure chests on the enemy ship. The most important ones here that we're looking out for are the sealed chests. You want to grab these and take them back to your boat. Press R to place them back down, and head to the nearest island with a shipwright. Once you reach there, you can bring the sealed chests one by one to the shipwright, and when you turn them in, there will be a small chance of you getting the same spell scroll that I got. You'll also get a ton of doubloons and other materials too, and in my opinion, the ship combat in this game is the most fun part about it, so I recommend you guys to go and sink down these ships, and turn in the seal chests. Okay, that's everything for this video. If you guys have any ideas for what you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you, and peace out.